everyone. Today we are going to be talking about how to do push notifications on our new Now app from Town News. So uh, the first thing you want to do, of course, is go to the admin account in the back end of Town News. What I really suggest doing uh, when you, especially for breaking news, push notification at them is a manual process. Uh, so if you do assign especially breaking news, please, please, please don't forget to um, assign a push notification to the article as well. It's crucial that we make that part of our task when we do an article. Uh, now, it's not only breaking news, but what I would suggest is maybe once a day at least, every other day, but have some kind of timeline schedule that you allow you and your newsroom staff to make that a priority to send those push notifications because that's one of the biggest reasons we've got the app is for those push notifications. So anyhow, to, uh, to start off, you're going to go to the Town News app, or excuse me, the Town News, Town News the website. Uh, in the back end here. So um, put this right here. First thing you're going to do is go, um, okay, so this is the admin town news. You're going to go to community broadcast. Community broadcast is essentially where you manage all your push notifications. So uh, you can see the list of ones that have been going out. It tells you when, when it was sent, and the target. I mean, you can doubly click on it. As you can see, we're, uh, this is a, a test site at the moment, but uh, this is kind of what it looks like. Now, uh, we'll go through the steps of creating a push, uh, a push notification to send ASAP and also some, some to schedule, uh, schedule ahead. So, um, and then here, you know, the filtering is just like our other things that we have within the town news system uh, that you can filter by. First thing, you're going to go to new here. Now, you have the you have two things. You have the ability to actually search for an asset or which is an article uh, or you can provide a URL. If you are some uh, if you want to do a custom uh, push notification push notification not really associated with the website, but you want to inform, inform your customers, you can definitely do so. Uh, you would add the the URL up here, a valid URL, and then add a message and always, always click app notification. So to start, we're just going to do the search asset and find an article that I would like to share with the customers. So I clicked on the search icon and what I'm really going to do is, uh, you know, really go by article here. And since it's a test site, we can do some testing here. So we are also going to go by news here so I can get some local content. So, or you can actually search by the article that I was trying to find. So, anyhow, so from here, um, I have, I want to make, I want to, let's just say I want this one to be sent out. I'm going to click on it and say add asset, and it's going to do that up here. What it's also going to do is going to push. Uh, the first couple of sentences of the article onto the message and this is the text message that the customer receives. So as of now we have a let's just take that off for a minute. We have a 260 characters to play with. So you can uh, play with some of this writing or or you know, I would do maybe one sentence of uh, main of main point and say, click here to read article. We always, I mean, it's very crucial to let the audience know what to do uh, when it comes to just anything that we send to them notification wise, there should be some kind of action. Now from here, uh, you know, you can rename this as just a title. Uh, it's a title and message. This is what the customer receives because I targeted this article. This is where you can assign date if you want to uh, uh, event uh, re uh, well it does pick up the time from the article itself uh, but uh, you can go ahead and play with whenever you want to send it out. Also make sure you always select check mark the app notification. Now 
it's uh, 2.56 and it's uh, August 16th, so I'm going to go ahead and really I want to send this right away so I can do send ASAP. When I did that, now it is pending and eventually what will happen is well, I will get it on my phone and this will say sent. Um, that's really it. Um, you can double click on that. You can uh, save and publish so it knows, like, if I say save and publish, what it would do, it, 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 I mean, it will take on the time, the current time, but you can also uh, change it for a future time. So 5.30, let's just say, and say save and publish. In that case, now it's 5.30 that this, this push notification goes out. Pretty simple. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say send ASAP because I'm just doing testing here. But when it says pending, it's on its way. That is basically it. So rule of thumb, if you have a breaking news, go ahead and also put on your task to do a broadcast on it. Um, also, I mean, what uh, like on the Herald itself, I would you know, your featured stories or your top stories that you have on the home page, I would send them out uh, and let the customer know or the user know. Uh, it's another avenue for us to capture audience and that's the app audience. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, but basically that's it. So community broadcasts and this is how you do an app notification. Thank you.